Hi, I'm Amy Rosoff Davis, and I'm gonna be leading you through a quick and easy lower body workout. It's gonna strengthen your legs, glutes, and core, which will power up all of your moves. These exercises are perfect for any skill level, and since it's only 15 minutes long, you can get it done anytime or anywhere. This episode of Class Fit Sugar is sponsored by Pikmin Bloom. Niantic's app, Pikmin Bloom, makes walking fun and is an easy way to incorporate active movement into your daily routine. The app transforms your everyday view into a world of colorful flowers while you exercise through walking. Pikmin Bloom is available on the App Store now. All right, let's get started. We're gonna march in place to warm up, just oxygenate your body, breathing deep into your lungs. Just reach your arms up and down. Let's do two more deep breaths, reaching up all the way through your fingertips and down. Good, we're gonna keep marching. Just gonna raise your arms up and down, really reaching through your fingertips, stretching through your body. Breathe, I always like to say, reach the most active part of your body by maximizing each move and fully executing each move to the fullest. Breathe. Good, and then we're gonna have your arms pushing out. Good, all the way through the palm of your hand. Good, reaching your arms long. Good, activating each muscle through the fingertips. Good, and if you wanna take it up, you can kinda of have a little pony trot, or you can just keep with a march. It's up to you, this is your workout. Good, and we're gonna do big arm circles. We'll do 10 each way. Really reach through those fingertips, stretching your arms, connecting to your breath. We start to feel all your muscles warming up. Good, we'll do five more to the back. Good. Three more long arms. Two, and we'll reverse those circles. Good, reaching all the rounds stretching through your chest. Good, breathing. Five more of these. Five. Starting to feel my arms warm up, that's for sure. Good. Two more. Good, and one, good. We're gonna keep moving, we're gonna reach side to side and reach. Good, really pushing your limbs far apart, bending your knees or reaching side to side. Think of kind of stretching your body apart. You're reaching back as you're reaching forward. Breathing, soft knees. Good, almost there. Reaching long. Up, good. One more, great. Taking a deep breath in and out, down. Good, we're gonna keep marching. Good, we'll go into a second position, plie, and we're gonna come down and your knees will go back, back, back. Good, breathe, dropping your shoulders. Walking is such a great way to warm up or cool down, and all of the moves that I do maximize efficiency by working your arms, your legs, your core. So my core is connected here, my arms are dropped. Good, my knees are going back. Good. Breathing, dropping my shoulders down, away from my ears, I'll say that a lot, just making the space so that you're working your arms and not your neck. Good, we're almost there. Breathe for five, four, three, two more, one. Now you're gonna alternate lifting a heel. Up and down and up, down. Staying low, my weight's in my heels. And again, I'm really activated through my core. My arms are activated here too. I'm really pushing my hands into each other. Breathing, good, up. Staying low, your legs should be burning. Good, we're almost there. We've got about 10 more seconds. Good, really going deep through the heel. Good, almost there. Up, good, one more on each side. Good, then you're gonna hold this plie and we're gonna do a little oblique crunch. And side, notice how I'm keeping my shoulders dropped, they're not creeping up. Keeping them down, bringing my elbow to my knee, staying low, I'm really working everything right now. My core, my arms, my glutes, 
legs. We're almost there. Breathe. Really reaching. Keep challenging yourself. Good. One more on each side. Then we're going to add a knee. So up, down, and up, down, and up, down. Bringing elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Good. Through the heels here. Up. Dropping those shoulders still. Don't let them creep up. Good. Feel your core working. Up. The hands are still working. Up. Almost there. Don't forget to breathe. Almost there. Good. One more on each side. And then we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to do a deep squat. Knees. Deep squat. Knees. Good. Up. Four. Here's five. Then we'll switch which knee is first. So now we'll do the opposite leg. Up. Up. Two. Sitting deep. I'm activating my core as I have this nice deep squat. Good. Two more. Four. One more. And five. Good. We're going to do a step tap to a high knee. I'm kind of doing a little opposite elbow oblique crunch here. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Getting outside. That air. Getting some endorphins going already. Hopefully you're feeling good. Good. And you can move your arms just around. But the more you move, the better you feel. Up. Good. We've got about 30 seconds. We'll switch sides. Almost done with this set. You guys are doing great. Up. Twist. Almost there. Good. Get to fully execute each move. Soft knees. Good. One more after that. Good. Now you're going to just take a knee into the chest with a twist. Breathing, having a soft standing leg, soft knee. Good. Twisting, bringing that knee to the opposite shoulder and bring that elbow back. Up, almost there. Good. We'll be about 10 more seconds and then we'll switch sides. Up. Good. Good. One more and switching sides. Up. And that twist. Almost there. Doing so good. Keeping the soft knee, activating all your muscles. So my arms are working, my core, my weight is in my heel. Soft knee, breathing. Good. Now we're going to do a little hamstring curl, bringing up to our elbows, little puppet arms. Breathe. Good. And these good mindful movements, being connected to your body as you move. So you're not just going through the motions, but you're really feeling each muscle move. You can create resistance without even using any equipment by just activating your muscles and connecting your body to your mind. Almost there. Up. Good. You can quicken this up a little bit. You've got about 20 seconds left. Get your heart rate up a little bit. Breathe. So nice to be outside. The air feels really good. Up. Ten more seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're doing a little side chasse. We'll do four each way. One, two, three, four, tap. One, two, three, four, tap. Breathe. Four, tap. One, two, three, four. And now once you get comfortable with this move, we will add the arms. We're just going to have our arms out in a T, reaching through your fingertips. One, two, three, four, tap. Two, three, four, good. Doing great. Reaching those arms long. As you can see I'm activating my arm muscles by reaching through my fingertips and pushing my shoulders down away from my ears. 10 more seconds, almost there. 
Do one more each side. Good, last one, two, three, four, tap, good. Take a breath here, just get some oxygen in there. Good, we're gonna do a little balancing now. This move is great for maximum efficiency because you're gonna use your core, your arms, your legs, your bend, your standing leg, and you're gonna do a donkey kick to the back while you reach with the front, so it's kind of opposite, a push to each direction. And you really wanna pull your core in. Good, using your abs for balance, taking your time, breathe reach and tap. Good, dropping your shoulders, connecting to your breath, really activating your glute as you reach out and in. Reaching through the palm of my hand. Good, one more, and we'll switch sides. And back, breathe, reach, good. To do moves that really work your entire body so you get the most workout, the most bang for your buck, I always say. So you can work your arms while you're working your legs, engage your core. Good, almost there. Three more, reach, two, and one. Good. Okay, we're do a little side lunge to a lateral raise. Two, good. Stepping deep into a little side lunge through your heel. Breathe, lifting through your toes, sides of your heel, up, good, engaging your core here, good, we're almost there, we'll switch sides, four, three, lifting, two, and one, good, we'll go to the other side, and lift. And again, lift it all the way through your foot. Activating your legs, your glutes, using your core for balance. Almost there. Having control here. Good. And breathe. We're almost there. We'll do three more. Three. Good. We're doing the same thing, but now we're going to do a passe. So similar. Step to passe. Passe is just bringing that foot to the knee. A little balance again. You can stare at a spot. Use your core. Connect to your breath. Take your time. And up. Up. You guys have been so great. Up. We'll switch sides in a minute. Stepping through that lunge and lifting. And we'll switch sides after this one. And down to the other side and lift, focusing on that balance. Breathe. And out. Standing. Out. And down. Stepping through your heels, soft knees. Up, almost there. Let's do four more. Up, for two. Good, and one. Up. Good, now we're gonna do a couple of lunges into high knees. So you'll go down, keep your knee over your ankle. Two, three, four, and on your fifth one, you're gonna bring five knees in. Five, four, three, two, one. Switching sides for five. Again, my knee is over my ankle. Good, now five knees in for five, four, three, Two, we'll do that again. Stepping up, good. Really bring that back knee all the way down to the ground. Four, five, bring the knees in for five, four, three, two, other side, up and down. Three, up, and now the knees for five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's catch your breath. Breathe, reach up, and down. We're gonna do a little front kick series. I want you to think of having a soft knee through these kick. So your knee is really soft. We'll start alternating. Dropping my shoulders, holding my arms up, engaging my core, because I'm standing tall. Breathe, and up. Woo, I'm getting sweaty, it feels good. Up. Good, I'm using my core here. Good, now you're just gonna do the right. Up, 
two. We're gonna do 30 on each leg. Breathe. You're almost there, you're doing so great. Eight, nine, we got 20 more. We got this, that standing leg can have a little bend in it. Breathe. Good, through that soft knee. 10 more, here we go, 10, nine, you got it. Holding those arms up, six, for four, three, two, other side, and up. Good, you guys are almost there. You've really done so great. Your body is happy. Good, 20 more, we're almost there. Power through this end. Up, pulling those arms up, dropping the shoulders, using your core. Good, for 12. 10, nine, we're almost there. Eight, seven, through that soft knee, holding the arms up. Breathe, three, two, one, good. Deep breath, reach your arms up, marching in place. And let's do one more, that felt so good. Reach up through your fingertips, breathe. Oh, thank you so much for joining me today with this workout inspired by Pikmin Bloom. So glad you stuck with me. I encourage you to take your next workout outside and do some walking. Walking is a great way to warm up or cool down from any exercise. Even getting outside once a day will improve your mood and keep you connected to your community. See you on the next Class Fit Sugar.